And this is our first display of this year, 2017, of something that we hope to turn into an annual event. We're here at the Ashburn Living History Festival mm -hmm. uh, in Dunamore, Ashburn, County Meath. Sure. And what we're putting on is the first Ashburn Living History Festival, which will commemorate the Battle of Ashburn, and in particular, Thomas Ash, who we have a very great affinity for. Uh, as I hope you'll all know, Thomas Ash led the 5th Battalion to victory at the Battle of Ashburn in 1916, and then went on to die on hunger strike in Mount Joy Jail on the 25th of September 1917. So we put the event together uh, with our historian friends and with our reenactment friends and vintage car and vehicle friends to give a view of Irish history in the round to show that 1916 and the Irish War of Independence didn't just happen in isolation it was part of a continuation uh, from the Battle of the Boyne which we did yesterday I, I put on a display for the Battle of the Boyne showing the muskets and the various weapons uh, and then we had 1798 with militia fighting the Wexford Pike men and women that was very good uh, and also brought to mind, uh, to mind the Battle battles that happened here in Meath uh, when the Wexford Pike men came up in 1798. Today we're putting on the ambush on Lord French at Ashtown Gate in 1919 and the first part of that will be historically factual and then because we believe in bringing history to life and getting people interested in it uh, we'll be going into more um, sort of alternative fiction. Uh, mm. There'll be a large battle between an array of Crown forces which will allow us to demonstrate their uniforms and then an array of Irish forces such as Irish volunteers, Irish citizen army in paramilitary guard and also in their full uniforms. And so there'll be loud bangs and everything and we hope you'll enjoy it. Hi, I'm uh, Noel French and I've written on uh, Meath in 1916 and a uh, history of all the things that happened around, uh, around Meath. And obviously uh, when I started I really didn't realise how strong the connections were. I also discovered loads of women involved in it. I think it's very important that uh, these people, these men and these women and people are commemorated. We have to commemorate what happened and exactly what happened uh, and uh, in a non-political way. My name is Paul Callery, uh, as if you don't know Marcus, but <laughs> never. Uh, and we're up today uh, supporting Toller and the Ashbourne uh, uh, Volunteers. Sure. Um, we're with the Dublin Brigade Irish Volunteers and the Collins 22 Society. Mm. Beautiful uh, sword um, from the Irish Army. Again, we have a, um, the beautiful leather scabbard. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. And then we have the FF and, and beautiful Celtic uh, oh, designs going the, down the blade. Yeah, today? yeah I'm Paul Gallen. I'm the archivist in St. John Amos Brigade. Yeah, we're here today down in Ashbourne at the Living History Festival. Um, we have some of our memorabilia and sure. some, some of our uh, instruments as well that were used kind of during the First and Second World War. So we're here just basically telling the story about St. John Amelins and uh, their role during society uh, during the 1916 Rising, the Force of War and later the Civil War. Um, St. John Amelins attracted uh, people from all, uh, all class and religions. Um, St. John Amelins is non-sectarian and apolitical. St. John Amelins members back then, they weren't just four staters. Because they had joined the, the Royal Naval Auxiliary Sick Bird Reserve, they were trained in uh, medical operations as well, so it was a bit more advanced than first aid. So more kind of like combat medics, they would have been trained in minor surgery, clamping, major bleeding, and uh, I suppose kind of gruesome wounds from being, being shot at, you know. Can you give us a salute there, Killian? Give us a salute. My name's Captain Barry Walsh of the 86th Leinster Regiment of Foot, and I'm here today to suppress the rebels at the Ashburn Living History Festival. Yeah, my name is uh, Private Eamon Dunn, I'm with the Royal Irish Artillery, they were based out of Chapel Lizard, uh, and we basically run the guns here. Um, today is a multi-period reenactment and display uh, by Ashburn. This here is our two-pounder cannon or battalion gun. Uh -huh. Each regiment of militia in Ireland would have had two of these to uh, use against rebels during the, the 1798 rebellion. Michael Sparks of the uh, York Fencibles. I fought in the Battle of Ballahim in the Battle of St. Fred in the 9th of June. Seven years, I was hit in the face with a pike but lived to tell a tale. A man was gone here which seen off the rebels and saved the regiment. True story. We're involved with Jairus Volunteers, members of the organisation, and we're putting on an exhibition there on display today. Okay. This is some of the stuff that we have. It's very impressive. You must have been a long time amassing that, did you, or collecting this? Oh yeah, that's only a fraction of what's there. My name's Elsie, and I'm part of Fingal Living History Society. So we're a group that's based in Dublin, mainly North Dublin, 
originally the, all the founding members were from Swords. So we reenact the Viking era from roughly about a thousand years ago. We also do medieval, but today we're here with our Viking tents and we're just giving people the taste of what, uh, his, what the history would have been like back then, how it would have been to live as a Viking. We have 42 branches all over the country. Okay. I'm part of the Frohada Slane branch. Okay. Okay. It's not only is it a home for ex-soldiers, but like serving soldiers are ex-soldiers with their, with their families. There is family rooms where they can use it as a, like a hostel. Yeah, yeah. And God forbid, if I fell on the hard times, yeah. or one of my children was in hospital in Dublin, yeah. I can come up and stay in one of these homes yeah. for a very small fee, only for bed. Yeah. But you have somewhere to stay while you're visiting a hospital or wherever. Yeah. yeah. That's a brilliant idea. It's a brilliant idea. Yeah, you can just... That's the whole o and &E group wow. that matched on Easter Sunday. That's incredible. That's from the hundreds? Is For, it, the, there was the 100, 108 of us, the o &E. No, but that's the 100th anniversary. Oh, the 100th, so. yeah, last Easter. The Easter parade, that, was, that, that, that magazine is our o and &E Connect. That's okay. distributed uh, to all members. Okay. Read around three to four times a year. Okay. My name is Aaron, I'm from Ashburn, County Mead. Basically what I came here for is to do the Battle of uh, Ashburn in the GAA Club. Yeah. And I and I did a big uh, project about it.